Number one is that it's an ethical responsibility for us to take care of ourselves. And this is actually written to, into our music therapy code of ethics. And it's, eth it's an ethical responsibility because when we're not taking care of ourselves or when we're experiencing burnout, burnout can lead to decreased client care. And, um, you know, when we're not managing our stress, um, our clients and our profession, too, can often be exposed to harm. And when we're burned out, you know, um, just some symptoms are, you know, not keeping our ethical boundaries, you know, not being able to be present with our clients. And especially working in mental health, it's actually not that safe if you're exhausted and not tired and not totally aware of your surroundings and your client's behavior. It becomes an ethical issue when we're not healthy enough to be there for our clients. And then secondly, um, just as helping professionals, we're are at risk for burnout just being in the jobs that we are in, that we're already at risk. And it doesn't mean that we're automatically gonna get burned out, but we just have to be aware that we are at risk as helping professionals, especially helping professionals who um, come from sort of an empathic tradition and using empathy in our works, because empathy can make us tired. And then, um, thirdly, are just the consequences of not practicing self-care. And um, like I said before, some of the professional consequences are things like um, job loss, could be um, professional impairment, poor client care, boundary violations, or a loss of objectivity. And all those things affect our profession, affects our job. The number one thing there, you know, is job loss. And I, that's scary. And then just physical and behavioral consequences. We're looking at things like uh, fatigue, decreased health, decreased immunity, and it can even lead to sort of destructive behaviors like, you know, substance abuse. And then the emotional consequences of burnout would include things like apathy, depression, anxiety, you know, hopelessness, feeling helpless. And those, yeah, those consequences can be pretty scary.